Hello. Today I'm going to be changing the PCB board of a uh, Baxter Solo 2 boiler. This is a, um, it's a pretty obsolete boiler now, it's really getting on, but I'm planning on redoing the whole house in a couple of months, so I've got to keep this limping on a little bit longer. A few days ago it packed up completely. We had um, no hot water, no heating, there's no pilot light on the boiler. I've already opened it up and I checked the fan, so I took the fan out and I made sure that was still turning nicely. I checked that the resistance across it was as it should be and um, finally I checked to see if it had power. But it didn't have any power, which suggests that the problem is further down the boiler and something probably the PCB is stopping um, the proper function of the boiler and that is meaning it's not diverting any power up to the fan. So, I have, um, I've got a plumber around who was next to useless, um, but did charge me an emergency call out fee for the privilege of telling me that he doesn't know what the problem is, but it's probably the PCB board, which I know already. So he said a new board would cost 200 pounds plus fitting. So I've just gone on eBay and I picked up a, a new board for 450 pounds. Conveniently comes with fitting instructions. So, we take this off. So, at the moment, there is no power to the boiler. I've already isolated it from the switch upstairs. So, the plan is going to be we take out the old board, we slot the new one in. And we're happy that the power's off. So once we've removed the retaining screws, we can just slide the whole PCB board out. Now, the way the new board's set up, there are already these um, live neutral earth wires here. So we can remove these fittings from the old board this seems to be quite glued in, this one, but oh, no, it comes out too. And we put that to one side. Should have said, the first thing I did before I start any work was to take a photo of the existing board because I'm going to forget where things go, I'm going to forget what I've taken out and how to put it all back together, and it makes a lot of sense to have a photo you can refer to. So we can now look at the remaining wires, where they go into, and um, where they connect to the board, and we can start carefully unpicking them. And connect it to the new board. Right, these two I might have to remove at the same time, um, just to get them out of the way.
slot these. Oh, sorry, first of all, of course, we've got to remove the um, plastic connectors from the new board, and then we can just simply connect up the old ones. Visual check. That is all nicely connected in place. Everything. Right now we try and feed it back in. some of these wires out of the way. Come along now. So, I can steal the knob for some reason it didn't come with a knob, but pinch the knob off the old one. And before I put everything back together again, I'm going to go and test it, so I'm going to go and turn the power on. And here we have it. The boiler's up, firing, burning nicely. And once again, I have hot water and heating, and my wife isn't going to leave me anymore. Easy. <laughs>